What's up everyone? Sam here from ByteByteBite.com and in this video, I wanna help you understand what to focus on in your career going into the new year. Because depending on where you are in your career, the focus that you should have is going to change dramatically. And if you don't focus on the right things, it can really slow down your progress in your long-term career. So I wanna go ahead and refer to this graphic here and let's dive into it. But before we do that, if you want tons more videos on software engineering careers and preparing for your coding interviews, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. So how do we figure out what to focus on as a software engineer? And the answer comes down to very simply, before we can understand what we need to focus on, we need to understand where we currently are in our career. And I want you to think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs for a second. So if you're not familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's a pyramid that looks something like this. And the way that it works is that at the very bottom level of the pyramid are the basic human needs that we need for survival. It's things like food, water, shelter. If we don't have those things, we cannot survive as a human. Then once we have those needs met, we can worry about other things. We can worry about moving higher up in that hierarchy. But until we have those needs met, we're not worried about things like having fun or uh, you know, being entertained and not being bored. Because if we don't have food, it doesn't matter how boring it is to look for food, we better be looking for food, right? And so in our career, we can think about things in the same way, where we have basic needs that need to be met before we can move up in the hierarchy, right? So what is that most basic need in our career? And the most basic need is that we need a job. Right? So this is the basic, the base level of our pyramid. And this, I'm going to call this the software engineering hierarchy of needs, similar to Maslow's hierarchy, where each layer, if we don't have that, we need to figure out that layer before we can move up to the next one. So if we need a job, this is assuming that we do not have a job right now, then this is the number one thing we should be focusing on, and this should be taking up 100% of our time. Right? This is something that we need to devote full-time effort to, to find a job, and we cannot be so picky about what that job is. Now, granted, I understand there are gonna be edge cases here. Maybe you have lots of savings and you, know, you decide, I wanna take a break from work. We're not talking about you. We're talking about people who need a job, right? If you need a job, you cannot be picky about what that job is. You cannot be picky about saying, well, I only wanna work for Amazon. I only wanna work for Google, because that could be years before you get to that point. Plain and simple, no matter how much you prepare, right? You go into that interview, you fail the interview, now you have to wait a year before you can get a job. And most of us can't wait multiple years to get a job, right? So we wanna be spending 100% of our time doing this and we want to be really thinking about how do I get any job? How do I get a job so that I can move myself up to the next level of the hierarchy, right? We will have an opportunity to look at what is that perfect job for us? What is our dream job? But not at this stage. This is where it's really important to realize like, I have to understand where I am in the hierarchy because if I don't, then I'm gonna be focusing on the completely wrong things. I'll be focusing on like, how do I get that job at Google rather than how do I make sure that I have a steady paycheck coming in and I'm getting paid as a software engineer. Now, in terms of what this 100% of your time should look like, you should be sending out lots of applications. You should be preparing for your interviews. You should be doing all the things that are going to help you to get that job. I'm not gonna recommend that you go spam out your resume to 100,000 companies, but you do want to be consistently applying. You wanna customize that resume to each one, but you wanna be applying. You should be, apply, you should be able to easily apply to 20 jobs a day with custom resumes for each individual job, and also take that time to prepare for your interview. So if you need a job, this is your number one step. Find a job. Right? Don't worry about whether it's the perfect job, just focus on finding a job. Now layer number two of the hierarchy is where we start to get into a more interesting area of we now have a job, right? Because we've filled that basic need. And so now we're moving up, but in this stage, we might be unhappy with our job. And so this is where we can start getting into, okay, well, how do I start to find jobs that are more of a better fit for what I'm looking for? So in this case, we're not gonna spend 100% of our time looking for jobs, right? That's not realistic because we have a job and we need to make sure that we are uh, spending enough time in that job to not lose the job because if we lost that job, we would end up moving back down to where we started, right? And that's not a good thing either. 
but we might spend, say, 60% of our time on job and 40% of our time looking for new jobs. Right? So here, we're spending enough time on our current job that it's allowing us to maintain that job. We're not going to lose the job, but we are opening ourselves up to these new opportunities. So this might look like a case where, you know, you have a boss that you really don't like. Maybe you're not getting paid what you think you're worth. Maybe you don't get along with your colleagues or you're working on boring projects or whatever it is. This is that case where we need to keep our job, but we're going to start getting more picky and we're going to start looking for better jobs. We can be more picky. We don't want to be as picky as like, I need the perfect job because we just want to take that step up. We essentially are trying to ladder our way up this pyramid. We're not trying to jump straight to the top here. We're trying to move up one rung at a time, right? So at this stage of the game, we're looking for what is that next better job? What might, we're you know, doing interviews on the side. We're doing interview prep on our weekends. We're sending out job applications. You wanna make sure on your LinkedIn profile that it says you're open to new opportunities. That's what we're doing at this stage and we're looking for that job that is going to be better for us than the current job that we're in. Now let's say that we've found that job and we've moved up to this next layer of the hierarchy. So at this level, I call this open to options. And the reason that I call it this is that this is the point where we have a job that we like, right? It may not be the perfect job for us, but we have a job that we like and that we enjoy, but we are open to better options. So this is really the point where if your goal long term is to get into a fang company, this is the point at which I would be looking at really trying to dial in that goal, right? You enjoy your current job, but if a recruiter from Amazon reached out, if a recruiter from Google reached out, then you would of course do the interview, right? And so this is a case where we're not going to spend as much time searching because since we are enjoying our job and since we think that this is a good fit for us, relatively speaking, we want to spend the majority of our time probably 80% of our time on the job itself. And then we can still spend 20% of our time searching for other opportunities, right? We can spend 20% of our time putting ourselves out there, making sure that we're keeping our interview prep skills sharp, right? Making sure that we are updating our LinkedIn profile, that we're updating our resume, because this is one of those cases where this may change. It's possible that we could be enjoying our job for a while, but then maybe our boss changes and we move down because we don't like our new boss. We always want to be kind of casually prepared for if we did want to make that jump to a new company, we'd be able to do that. And if an opportunity arose to move up to this top layer, we would be able to take advantage of that opportunity as well. And now finally, when we get to the very top layer of our pyramid, I'll call this 100% happy. Right? We like our job right now. We don't really want to change jobs. Maybe if a great opportunity came along, we'd still take it, but we don't really want to spend very much time looking for new jobs. And this is a really interesting place. This is where in Maslow's hierarchy of needs, he calls it self-actualization. But this is where what I want you to start thinking about as a software engineer is your AMP framework. And so AMP, stands for Autonomy, Mastery, and Purpose. We've talked about this a little bit on the channel before, but basically these are the three things that you want to focus on. Do you focus on autonomy, mastery, and purpose? These are the things that are going to help you long-term be fulfilled as a software engineer. Understanding do I, which of these do I value? You may not value all of these equally. With autonomy, you may really value being able to work from home, or you may like working in an office space. With mastery, you may be really excited about learning new things, or you may just really want to stick with what you're already good at. Purpose, some people love working at companies that are doing social good. Some people like working at companies that are working on a product that they're really excited about and other people don't care. But understanding what these are and understanding how you can move your job closer to your AMP framework is really once you're at this top level, we're not looking for big changes. We're not looking for, you know, go out and totally reinvent the wheel. We're just looking for what is this thing that is going to make us truly fulfilled in the long term. 
And so I really want you to understand this as we go into the new year here, understanding where are you on this hierarchy of need? Where are you on this pyramid? And what does that mean about what you should be focusing on right now? Are you at this bottom layer where you should be focusing full time on looking for a job? Some people, I know there are people watching this video who are in this position and you're, there are probably some people in this position who are acting like they're up here, right? You're, there are some people down here that are acting like, well, I want that job at Google. And I get it. I get the, under, I get the idea, but you can't run before you walk, right? You have to crawl, then walk, then run. And so think about where am I on this pyramid? How do I work my way up the pyramid? And with that, that is all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel here going into 2021. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.